Despite early warning signs, no law stopped an accused killer from buying the semi-automatic rifle used in last week's school massacre. A 19-year-old Nicholas Cruz passed a federal background check at a gun shop in Florida last year. Investigators said the teenager did not check any of the boxes that could have banned him from buying the weapon. So what do gun background checks actually check? Good question. WC sales John Lawrence explains how they work and what they won't catch. So I come in, I want to buy a firearm from you. Okay. Where do we start exactly? Uh, first thing you're going to do is give me your Minnesota photo ID. That's how a firearm purchase begins at a licensed gun dealer like Capra's and Blaine. You have to be 18 to buy a long gun, 21 for a handgun, and have the right permit for certain weapons. And then you'll start filling out uh, the federal form 4473. That form asks for personal information like your age and address. It'll also ask about your legal history, including are you a fugitive from justice? I've never had that question answered yes ever in 36 years of selling firearms in the Twin Cities. So, Because if they are one, they probably aren't going to put right. yes to that. Exactly. And that's not for Todd Lundstrom to figure out. He takes all the information and calls it into the FBI. After they run the potential buyer's name against several databases, they can come back with a response in just a few minutes. Proceed, denied, canceled, or delayed. Lundstrom says he's seen many delays. And what's the reason for that? Uh, we have no idea. The FBI will not tell us. The FBI will not tell the person that's filling the form out. Sometimes it's mistaken identity, or it could be past violence, mental health problems, or drug use that can cause a purchase to be denied. But as we've learned from the recent school shooting, the background check is not designed to catch red flags, like threatening social media posts or disciplinary action taken by schools. And not all gun sales require background checks. I could sell my favorite bird gun to you on a hunt. John Lordson. And no questions asked. WCCO 4 News. If you have a good question, just email it by going to wcco.com links.